Today's MSM draw was brought to us by Angry Void Creature. Submit a prompt with the hashtag MSM draw to get your own idea drawn. My philosophy for turning these single element monsters into other single element monsters is that they've got to have one feature that sort of remains the same but is customized uh, depending on what element it goes through. So in the example of the pot belly, we'd be looking at the pots and changing that up depending on what element it is. The most cursed monster by far is the air island pot belly because I couldn't think of many ways to turn the plant monster into an air monster, so I just rolled with the classic turn it into a bird sort of technique, and that choice remains questionable. I really think the only technique that stays the same throughout all the different elemental monsters I'm going to be doing today is that the earth island monster sort of just turns into a rock and sits there. But it's a cool looking rock. And I could totally see the Water Island Potbelly being in the Colosseum as a skin. Its moveset could be called the Coral Reef or something. I thought that was smart. Mammoth was actually the trickiest to come up with different elements for, because there's not really any key characteristics uh, besides the giant mouth. So uh, I had quite a bit of creative liberty in deciding what I wanted each of these monster variations to be. But out of all of them, I really like the fire type mammoth because you can see in a few seconds there's going to be some really unique coloration on the hair that makes it look like fire. And if you have sharp eyes, you will notice that uh, that water island mammoth is actually a reference to the concept mammoth which pretty much looks exactly the same if we can get a picture of Yeah, there we go. I'm sort of glad mammoth is a cold element monster because all of these variations look very cursed, especially Earth Island. Tweedle's pretty interesting because I mess around with the wings a lot. Uh, my favorite of the bunch is either the plant elemental Tweedle because of the usage of tree branches as the wings, or actually Earth Island Tweedle. It just looks very compact and very, uh, I don't know, very complete as a monster. One interesting detail that I'd like to point out on Water Island Tweedle is how uh, its flippers have got some scratches and scars on it, and that is similar to real world manatees because they often collide with the propellers of boats and their flippers end up having those notches and scars. So just an interesting relation between manatees and this fictional creature that a YouTuber has come up with. So yeah. Our honorable mention goes to fire type Tweedle, and I'm not entirely sure how it suspends itself with wings actually made out of fire, but let's just roll with it. Suspended disbelief. Toe Jammer is probably tied with Kana as my favorite monsters to draw elemental configurations for, simply because of all the creative liberties you can take with the roundness of this monster. One of my favorites is the Earth Island Toe Jammer, which has all the different rock layers like an actual Earth's crust. It also has a little fossil, which I think is a nice detail. Also, I really like the fire type Toe Jammer. It's sort of half hardened obsidian and half molten lava with noxious gas leaking out in between the glowing cracks. I don't know, <laughs> I really favor the fire monsters. Noggin, although a very nice template to work with, was actually one of the hardest to come up with ideas for, uh, simply because there wasn't a lot of elemental ideas that could be fit inside that log drum shaped space. By the way, have you figured out what the background music is yet? I'm excited to release it next week. My favorite of the five noggins is probably the air island one because it has all these techie bits. And my least favorite is the water island one because I, <laughs> I couldn't really find a lot of things to do with it. So I just made it a water pail flipped upside down with fish fins. So that could be redone. That could be redone, but I think it's okay. Also, don't ask me how fire type noggin can play its sound. That's one of the many mysteries of science.
The dominant feature that remains the same across all Kana variations is the conical protrusion on top of her head. It was especially interesting coming up with the air and water designs because I had to find something to do with the volcano on top of her head. I especially like how Cold Island Kana's volcano has just turned into a snowy mountain. How would you have drawn Water Island Kana? I'm curious to see the other ideas that are out there, so let me know in the comments. So I think that about sums it up for the single element switch up. Is there anything you thought I should have done differently, or something you really resonated with in the design of these single element monsters? If so, uh, let me know down in the comments section. And don't forget to put down some hashtag MSM draws so I can provide the content at the start of the video. This has been Creeptanium, and I'll see you all later.